All right, guys, so I'm out here in the garden. We are getting ready to get some 32 degree nights. So I come out here to see if there's anything to harvest. We have still a few cherry tomatoes and things like that producing. And then I have lots of zinnias that are still, you know, out here um, that I'm going to be saving seeds from. But I was looking at this tomatillo plant. As you can see, there is a lot of tomato hornworm damage. You can definitely tell something is chomping away at this plant. Can anybody spot it? They're usually hard to find, but this thing is such a monster, I found it pretty quickly. You see it yet? Look at that guy. Look at the teeth on this thing. He's just uh, chilling upside down. I'm sorry about the focus. My camera doesn't know what to focus on. But yeah, so I just thought that I would come out here and show you basically what to look for whenever, you know, you are out in your garden. That is what the damage is going to look like. This is actually, I believe, the first tomato hornworm I've ever found. I did find some really tiny green caterpillars that now that I've done a little more research, I think were budworms and not baby tomato hornworms. So yeah, it sucks that I am gonna be dealing with these things. Hopefully it's gonna be like this every year where it's almost freezing temperatures and I'm for, you know just now finding my first one, but that's probably not gonna be the case. But yeah, so anytime you see leaves gone like that. I even had one of my tomatillos. Um, I already took it off, but there was like one uh, tomatillo that had like all of the paper husk chewed off of it. You can see where he's just basically made his way around this plant. It's weird though that, you know, he's got like a few leaves here and then it's like he skips a lot of stuff and then goes to the next one and it's like they they uh just kind of stay I don't know like they stay at the top of the plant and work their way down I seen a video on YouTube the other day actually and they were talking about how they kind of get up on a leaf and they chew like wherever their mouth can reach from top to bottom and then they'll go to the top again top to bottom top to bottom instead of crawling around on the leaf they'll just stay in one spot and chew top to bottom top to bottom until they can't basically reach any more of the leaf and then they'll move and just keep going up and down up and down up and down which was pretty interesting if i can find the uh the link to the video i'll put it in the description in case you want to check it out while i'm out here i'll show you these gorgeous beans i have growing i'm uh letting these go oh they're all tangled up over here i'm letting these go to save seeds from them but they are still gorgeous looking i took these uh five foot or six foot green uh 
like plastic it's metal on the in, on the inside but it's like plastic coated uh stakes and i just kind of made a tp out of three of them and put them uh put some twine around the top of them and planted i think six yeah six uh green beans no seven green beans which is really too many for this little area but i knew that you know since it was so late in the season they weren't going to get too tall but but yeah, it's producing quite a bit, especially considering that I haven't been harvesting anything from them. But that's going to be it, guys. I just thought I would hop on really quick and show you this tomato hornworm that I found and show you what some of the signs are to look for.